All right, so as we go into tomorrow, we're going to be starting to see that snow change over rain to snow about mid morning for some areas that'll last until about the afternoon and then we're pretty much all snow until we get to about Tuesday afternoon. Uh, so we'll pinpoint that, but this is the system. This is the one that we're working with enough moisture to move out of the Gulf of Mexico, meet cold air, and when the two combine, that is when the snow will start to fall. It's waiting for that cold air to get here, though. So what's going to happen is throughout the course of the day today, that rainfall starts to move up tonight and even early tomorrow morning. It will still be rain. We're not dealing with snow yet, but about mid Monday when that cold front starts to pass, that cold air really slides in. That is when we start to see the air temperature drop down near freezing. The snow will start to fall and until those clouds get out of here sometime late Tuesday night, uh, the snow will still continue. Even if it's just light snow showers or flurries that could continue all the way until late Tuesday night. But let's go ahead and pinpoint the showers, the timing, the temperatures when it's all starting to happen. Mid 50s for today. Pretty good day with sunshine in the morning, cloud coverage in the afternoon. In the evening, right after dinner time, we should start to see those uh, rain showers move in from the south. It'll encompass the entire area. We're looking at widespread rain activity overnight tonight and early tomorrow morning with some of this getting heavy at times, potentially up to two inches of rainfall in some areas, especially right down Interstate 75 and in the lakes region. But then when the cold air starts to pour in right around mid morning, you see that rain starting to change over to snow. The bluegrass will start to get it first. Lakes region after that, eastern Kentucky will start to get theirs around the mid afternoon and uh, following suit for the southeastern counties as well. You see those air temperatures right down near freezing, continuing to drop down below freezing at that point. And uh, until the snow showers finish, it's going to be all snow going through Tuesday morning as uh, mostly scattered activity. But then you see those clouds move out. And once they do, that's it. About mid evening Tuesday, we should start to see the last of it. Snow amounts through that time frame. Now, most of this is not going to start to collect until early Tuesday morning. Reason being is the ground surface is just too warm. We're getting up to 56 degrees today, so it's going to take a long time, especially for those road surfaces to get down near freezing for any kind of collection to really begin. Uh, and most of what you see here, this trace to three, two to four, it's going to be on the grass. It's going to be on your deck surfaces. It's going to be on things like that. The, the rooftop. It's not going to be on the roads. The roads are going to be much less than this because they're just too warm for a system like this or too early in the season to see these big snowfalls and stick around. In fact, even as the snow is changing over tomorrow, we're still at 40 degrees for the surface temperatures, the pavement temperatures. It's not going to be until we get to about early Tuesday morning or late in the evening on Monday that we finally start to see these numbers come down to freezing. So that's when the sticking will start. So early Tuesday morning and then throughout the day as these snow showers continue, especially in the eastern counties, that is where the the, the most snow is going to be. That's also where the biggest impacts are going to be throughout the course of this system. So your Monday evening commute, Tuesday morning commutes will be the two that are the most impacted by this system. And once again, the further east you live, the higher those impacts will be. Slippery road conditions, light accumulations here and there. But the roads that you really need to pay attention to, the, the parts of the roads are the bridges and the overpasses, turn lanes, shoulders. All of those are usually cooler in surface because Obviously, bridges and overpasses have the air flowing below them, but turn lanes and shoulders aren't used as much. So that's why they tend to collect that snow a little, a little faster and then keep it as well. Future rainfall, remember the rainfall before the system? Anywhere between a half of an inch and up to about an inch and a half. But some areas may even top out in the two inch range with that snow, I mean, with that rainfall. Okay, so Monday morning into the afternoon, the rain changes over to the snow. Tuesday, snow showers leaving. After that point, we're back to high pressure. Temperatures will plummet. We're down to the low 20s on Wednesday morning. Uh, we'll do the low 40s by the afternoon with all that sunshine. We'll have another system roll in sometime around Friday. It uh, doesn't look to be anywhere near as powerful or not dealing with quite near the cold that this system is. So snow likely not going to be a big factor with it. But we could see a few flakes on Saturday.